girl Don, and I'm back, back, back with another video. All right, so this will be another reaction video, y'all. I know I'm in the same outfit as um, either my last video or my next video, but I wanted to go ahead and react to this. Really, y'all, I really didn't even want to give this girl, like, even though, like, I'm not no big channel or anything like that, but I really didn't want to even shine no light on this situation. But I just saw this video of her, her baby, and <clears throat> it made me want to go ahead and just react to it. But, y'all, this reaction today is going to be about the girl, Atasha Brunson, the girl that said that she was going to commit suicide and take her kids, her girls, with her. Now, I'm just about to show a little clip, probably about five minutes into this live, because I don't want to go too, too deep into this because of the fact that it's 20 minutes long. I'm sure everybody pretty much know about this story already. And um, I'm also going to probably react to the hospital stay, like the the last live she did. I guess when she was in the hospital or whatever. So, let's go ahead and react to first few minutes of this. About my story goes, I was the only child on my mom's side. And I was spoiled right, spoiled right, like, spoiled right. My daddy had, um, two girls but I was the baby <laughs> and I used to sneak out the house you know do, you know, do things girls did and that's when I became pregnant with Jaden and I was still fast and on the go and I ended up getting pregnant again before I graduated high school and that was, that's when Zakari came I got my girls right here with me and they going with me. And y'all, I had boys out the boy, I mean a boy out the boy. I wanted a girl so bad. I wanted a girl so bad. So that's when I started dating little Edward. And we decided on having a child. And luckily we had twins. And that's when Mason and McKean, I mean Mason and Madison arrived. That was my girl, y'all. My girl, I was so excited. I was so excited. Like, when we had the reveal, I was so excited that it was a girl. I got pregnant again. And I was blessed with Mackenzie. That's my fat girl right there. And I love her to death. Y'all see where she Because I love her. That's my baby. Can't let nobody have Mackenzie. My baby, y'all. So, my life has always been, I ain't gonna say perfect because nobody's life is perfect, but my life has always been good. Like, I never had to work. Like, never. Like, the reason I work was because I wanted to work. Like, my mama always kept me straight, even after the kids. I had kids, kids after kids, and my mama always, like, I was never a kid that had to work. Never, never. So, basically, my life was okay. And now I just want to, I just want to go. It's my time. Like, I'm tired of being hurt. Like, it's like the kids that, the key, the children that have it, have the best life be the ones that, that hurts deep down inside. For real. For real, for real. Like, they be the ones that, um, they be the ones that, how am I supposed to explain it? They be the ones that, I don't know. I don't even know, y'all. My mind ain't even where it's supposed to be at right now. I'm just talking. I was just trying to talk to y'all just until my little action takes All place. All right, so 
<clears throat> I'm already five minutes into this video so far. Now look, we gonna leave it there. I'm sure that y'all have saw this video before. If not, let me know. I can upload it or, I mean, honestly, you can just YouTube her name and see the whole full 20 minutes. I'm just going to put that clip in there because <clears throat> it really, really disturbs me that you are a grown woman. You're sitting here saying that you've had a great life. You have, I believe she has what she said, two twins. And so I believe that she has about five kids. She got two of her girls with her. One on her lap. And on another clip of this video, the girl, the other baby is sitting like on the floor of the passenger seat with her head on the seat part. So <clears throat> I will insert a clip of the babies. Well, not babies, but one baby. I'll insert the clip of one baby because that's the only thing I was able to find. Oh, you make me look. Oh. <clears throat> She's doing really good. Both babies are doing good. Um, but let me, let me let y'all know what pretty much happens. So what happens is she's on live for 20 minutes talking about how she pretty much found out that I guess the guy she's with is married and all of this hoo-ha, whatever, some BS that you should not be taking your life over. Like, come on now. And your kid's life at that. <clears throat> So pretty much her boyfriend cheated on her, not cheated on her, she's the side piece. So that's what happened. She's the side piece and she's upset about it. Okay, it's it's cool to be upset because you if you ain't know that he was married, it's cool to be upset. But she has her kids in the car. She pretty much saying that she's going to kill herself. She's looking for ongoing traffic so she can kill herself and her kids. That's the gist of this video. And yes, if I look at it, it's because I am. Like, I get pissed off every time I'm talking about this conversation, uh, discussing this girl. So, pretty much, she gets in an accident. Get down. She gets in an accident on a highway in Memphis. She lives in, I think, Mississippi, but she, or from Mississippi, but she somehow got all the way to Memphis or whatever. And she gets in an accident, flips over, you know. The kids wouldn't buckle down or none of that. So it's by the grace of God that all three of them are still alive and well, which I'm grateful for because this that would have been a very, very unfortunate situation. But <clears throat> if you wasn't out here, like, what is it? <clears throat> the saying is like, you get what you ask for. Now, what the messed up part of it would have been is if, God forbid, you would have survived and your kids wouldn't have. That would have been the messed up part. Now, you've been really messed up in your head. Because you have to be messed up in your head to think, to even have the thought. Even if you was just BSing for him to call you and da 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 For you to have that thought that you're going to take you and your kids away from this world. Y'all, so pretty much the girl is okay. The kids are okay, thank God. I really hope that she is institutionalized. She claims, I'm not even, I said that I was going to do the um, second video or whatever that she did in the hospital. I don't even think I'm going to do that. But hopefully she has been taken care of because... This is ridiculous. In the other video, she claims, and I might put a clip of the video either at the end or during this part or whatever, but she claims that um, it was not real. Like, she was really just, you know, doing it for clout. Or not really doing it for clout. She was trying to get the attention of the dude that, was, that she was messing with that was married. She was trying to get the attention from him. 
So he can call her and stop her, I'm assuming. But I'm assuming that ain't what happened. She claims that the accident was a true accident, that she dropped her phone. Now, it's another live she did on her channel that was black. And you hear the alarms in the background and all that. But supposedly, she claims she drops her phone, drops her phone, and looks up and she's about to come in contact with another car so she swerves flips the car and stuff like that something she says i'll insert the clip for y'all but that's what she claims but i really and i really hope that that's the truth like you really didn't mean to really get in the accident but regardless you still need some help because ain't no way no no man no boy no boy is about to Put my head, myself in a mind state where I want to take my life, my own life, and my children's life. Ain't no way. So I really hope that she gets the help that she needs, honey. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and insert this clip. Care. I was driving trying to ease my mind. The lie was for attention. I dropped my phone, went down to reach for my phone. And when I raised back up, it was a car. And I tried to dodge that car. And I hit the rail of the expressway and I flipped. The car flipped multiple times, multiple times. And my baby was in my arm. I jumped out of the car because Madison, which is my two year old, the twin, was. was rejected from the car and I went to find her. And I had both of my babies in, in my arm, standing in the middle of the expressway, <laughs> begging for help. <laughs> it was an accident, you guys. I was just searching for attention when I went live. And the drive was to ease my mind. I promise you it was. I'm so sorry, you guys. Yes, everybody is okay. Madison is in. Madison is at Labonna with her dad. Mackenzie is at home with my mom. All right, so y'all, now that y'all have seen the clip, um, that's pretty much what happened, what she claims happened, and I really pray that she gets the help that she needs and she heals because that could have ended really, really bad. So I really just pray that she gets the help that she needs. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm out. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, y'all, at Forever Dawn, one underscore, Snapchat, at Dawn So Bougie 94, Dawn spelled D-A-W-N, and I'm out. Bye!